Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. The time has finally come to do a video on the Unify U6 Enterprise Access Point. This is the first access point by Ubiquiti that features Wi-Fi 6E. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. If you'd like to hire me for network consulting, visit www.mactelecomnetworks.com. You can find me on Twitter at MacTelecomN. And if you'd like to support the channel, we do have affiliate links down below. First, as always, let's go take a look at what comes in the box with the U6 Enterprise access point. All right, and this is the box for the U6 Enterprise. It's pretty much the same size box as the U6 LR. On top, we have our U6 Enterprise access point, and it has this plastic cover over top of it. When you're installing these, instead of getting dirty fingerprints on the white coating of the access point, you could mount it with this plastic on and then peel it off once you're done. Below the access point, we have a mounting template, and then we have this professional mount that comes with the U6 Pro and the U6 LR as well, and it makes mounting very easy. We also have this other bracket if you're going to be installing it on drop ceiling. And then we have the hardware kit, which comes with some different anchors, some screws, and some mounts for T-Bar. They always do a great job with their packaging. And on the very bottom, we have a quick start guide. And one very big advantage of this access point is it has a PoEN 2.5 gigabit Ethernet interface. Now doing a size comparison, this is the U6 Professional and this is the U6 Enterprise. It is quite a bit bigger. If we put it over top, you can see just how much wider it is. And it is also thicker than the U6 Professional AP. Now that's all that came in the box. Let's take a look at the specs on the computer. All right, and there's the look at the Unify U6 Enterprise access point. Below are a couple features that this access point includes. We have Wi-Fi 6 support. We have 2.4 gigahertz, 5 gigahertz, and now we have the new 6 gigahertz spectrum with this access point. Some advantages of using the 6 gigahertz is it has faster speeds and we have an uncongested spectrum. There's also lower latency. We can also see that there's a 10.2 gigabit per second aggregate throughput rate. And let's take a closer look at what that means. So if we scroll down to the product summary, we could see where we get that 10 gigabits from. We could see our throughput rates and then on the 2.4 gigahertz, we're getting 573.5 megabits per second. On the 5 gigahertz and the 6 gigahertz, we're getting 4.8 gigabits per second. And we could also see on the 2.4, we're using 2x2 multi-user MIMO. On the 5 and the 6, we're using 4x4. It has the one 2.5 gigabit ethernet interface and we power this access point by PoE+. To use this access point at its full potential, we would need a switch that could offer us 2.5 gigabits per second, and any of their enterprise line will do that. So if we take a look at their Switch Enterprise 8 PoE, this will provide us PoE as well as 2.5 gigabit ethernet interfaces. If you need more than the eight ports, we have the Switch Enterprise 48 PoE, and then we have the Switch Enterprise 24 PoE, which is the switch that I'm using. Next, I'm gonna show you my topology and the test environment that we're gonna be using. We'll create a new Wi-Fi network that's just operating on the six gigahertz band, and then we'll do some speed tests open speed test and an iperf test. So coming into my UDM SE, I have a one gigabit connection up and down. Going from there, there's a 10 gigabit link to my USW Pro aggregation switch. All my other switches connect to the USW Pro aggregation at 10 gigabit per second. Also connected to the USW Pro aggregation, which we'll be running an open speed test to, is my Synology NAS, which is also running at 10 gigabit. We can see on my USW Enterprise 24 PoE that we have my U6 Enterprise, and that's running at 2.5 gigabit. And to show you that, we'll go to my Unify devices, we'll go to my USW Enterprise 24 PoE, and then to ports and click on port management. From the switch, we could see the U6 Enterprise is connected to port 16 and it's getting PoE and running at 2.5 gigabits per second. Now let's create a Wi-Fi SSID for this six gigahertz testing. We'll create a new Wi-Fi network. I'll call this Wi-Fi 6E test. We'll give it a password of just test1234. And then the network, I've already created a network for the Wi-Fi 6E test. Below, I'm going to disable this from every other access point, and I'm just going to put it on this Wi-Fi 6 test group that I just have that U6 Enterprise a part of. Now, under advanced configuration, instead of having it at auto, this would only do the 2.4 and the 5 gigahertz. I'm going to switch it to manual. I'm going to turn off the 5 gigahertz and the 2.4. And if we scroll down below, with Wi-Fi 6E, it will make us do WPA3. And they do have a warning here that some devices may not be able to connect. You could also do WPA3 Enterprise, or you could have it open. 
we'll press add Wi-Fi network. Now, before we do any tests, let's take a look at the access point. So we have our model name, we have the IP address, and then we have the device firmware version that it's at. Currently, we have no guests or clients on this access point. It's pretty much the same as every other access point where it has the history, general, uplink, air stats, downlinks, AP groups, and then we have our WLAN. We can see our BSSID, we can see the ESSID, and the channel that it's on, which is 37 in the width, that's 160. Under the setting, it's pretty much the same thing. We're using global AP settings, and we'll take a look at that before our test. But if we scroll down, we can see the 2.4 gigahertz radio, we can see the 5 gigahertz, and now we can see the 6 gigahertz that's operating at HE160. If we wanted this access point a part of the global AP settings and we wanted to switch the channel width, we could change it to 80 if we'd like. We're gonna leave it at 160 for this testing. Now for these tests, we need to remember that I'm only gonna be having this computer connected to the access point on the six gigahertz. There will be nothing else connected to it. It's very hard to do Wi-Fi test in my home where I'm not having multiple connections going to the AP. This access point is more made for a stadium or somewhere that has very high traffic as it could have 600 plus concurrent clients to it. But just as a baseline, let's run a speed test on the wired network this computer's wired into my switch to see what we're getting. And I'm getting 824 down and 780 up, which is pretty fair. I do have that one gig by one gig connection. Now I'm gonna connect this computer to the Wi-Fi network that's operating on the six gigahertz. Now I've connected this PC to the Wi-Fi network and disabled the ethernet adapter on it. We could see the band that we're operating on is the six gigahertz on channel 37. The adapter that I'm using in this computer is the Intel AX210 Wi-Fi 6E chipset. Now let's go ahead and run a speed test through speedtest.net. And from our speed test, we're getting 706 down and 695 up, which is pretty close to wired speed. So I'm really happy with that. Now let's run an open speed test. Now we're at the open speed test. Let's press start. And there's the result for the open speed test. We're getting 1,132 down and 1,665 up, which is just incredible. And the last test we'll perform is an iPerf test. I'm using that Synology NAS as an iPerf server. So let's go ahead and test that out right now. And we're getting about 635 megabits per second. And that's gonna be it for this U6 Enterprise Access Point video. Would I recommend this AP? Well, I certainly would in very high dense situations. If you're using this access point in a stadium or maybe a gym, I think it would work really well for you. For a home, are you gonna get all the advantages? Probably not. You will get that faster speed if your devices do have Wi-Fi 6E chipsets in them. If you have any questions about this video, please leave it in the comments below. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.